Yo, what's up, Beatbox family? We are finally gonna start reacting to the GPB 2019 battles. Now, for the first battle, we have BR versus MB14. A lot of people regard this as the best beatbox battle in history, or some just the best beatbox battle in GPB 2019. Personally, for me, this is my second favorite battle. My first was G Lo vs Collapse, which we won't react to again because earlier Baby. in my earlier reaction video, which I did months ago for D Lo vs Collapse, um, I just reacted to it. I didn't really Baby. analyze it. So we're gonna do that again, but this time I'm gonna analyze it. Now I gotta say, although this is MB14's first time in like a really world-class solo competition, he did amazing. Like he made BR use all of his dope, probably first best, second best routines. And to do something like that to the Vice World Champion is nuts. And I remember the crowd was nuts during this battle for everybody's round. So I'm pretty excited to watch this battle again. So. Let's get right into this and analyze it. Let's go. Yo! BR won the coin toss. He chose MB14 to go first. We have our judges. We have our battlers. One more time, pulling. Do we have a crowd? Do we have a crowd? Make some noise. Come on. It is on MB14. You know what to do. I say the twa. You say the two and the uh. Ladies and gentlemen, in twa. First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way the things have been all. The way the things have been all. Listen. Okay, um, this is something I tell beatboxers all the time. Like, doing a counter against your opponent, it can make you or break you. And there's a difference between doing your opponent's beat in the same level and doing your opponent's beat in a well, lower level. Like, if you can counter someone, just because you can do the exact pattern, doesn't mean you should do it. Like, if you can do the exact pattern with the same quality as your opponent did, sure, counter him. But if your counter is not of the same quality like this, like, yeah, doing aim base against BR, fine, yeah, sure. But like, is your aim base on par with his? Yeah, so, not a good counter. It's actually pretty cringy. <laughs> <laughs> Even BR is like... <laughs> first things first, I'm a <laughs> now that is a good counter. Oh, this is this is so sad. Like, imagine you prepare a routine and then the clock is messed up, and then you have to like free stuff for another 30 40 seconds. The same thing happened to me in Werewolf 2019, but it was easier for me because, like, instead of doing a 90 second round, I had to do a one minute round, you know. So, like, I thought that each round was 90 seconds, and then after I did my first drop in the top 16, I looked, I looked at the back, and the clock was like all oh, 15 seconds left, and I was like, What? Ha! Huh? You know, so I had to like cut down, but it, that, that's easy. But this, he has to freestyle for an extra 30 seconds. 30 seconds, guys, it's not easy.
I say that was, a, that was a good freestyle. I mean, it is his first solo competition in like a world class level, and you guys know like, MB14 is still kind of new to the solo, um, category. So, you know, people like BR, Alex Senior, Napalm, who've been battling in solo for years, they would know how to freestyle a really dope set, you know. But this is still good for someone who's f still starting out, you know. And that's time. <laughs> That's a good counter! Let's do this one right. Look at the crowd, just look at the crowd, bro. Look at look at the crowd. Let's do this one right. <laughs> Now you know that this is what experience does to you because now BR has to freestyle for an extra 30 seconds or so and like instead of putting a beat he's buying himself some time to create a new beat so what he does is he he throws down an, an awesome line BR drops BR drops so he has time to figure out what he wants to do now that is what experience does to you drops BR drop that ready for the PR to the P drop that pit for the P to the P drop that pit for the P to the P drop that pit for the P to the P drop that pit for the P PR 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 get ready for the BR to the B Now that's a good counter, I don't know if you guys realized it, but he basically countered the beat that MB14 did in his last 30 second freestyle, that's pretty good. Like somewhere over here. Yeah, right over there. No, 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 a freaking uh, YouTube ads. Why? Why? YouTube, you need to stop doing this, please. I just want to say, um, for the first round, I think I definitely give it to PR. Just putting it out there.
Please guys, don't counter if you cannot counter well. <laughs> Please just don't counter if you cannot counter well. <laughs> I mean, doing a counter the first time is okay and it's pretty dope, but doing it multiple times it kind of just loses its effect. So yeah. <laughs> Too many times, too many times. <laughs> let me see a wall side. 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 Let me get and see it. I'm on the side. Let me get and see it. I'm on the side. Let me get and see it. I'm on the side. Let me get and see it. I'm on the side. Let me get and see it. I'm on the side. Let me get and see it. I'm on the side. Let me get and see it. I'm on the side. Okay, this one, uh, uh, MB14's round in round 2 is better than his round 1 round. Oh my god, there are so many rounds in one sentence. Uh, personally though, I would still give the second round to... Uh, mm, just, you know, it's pretty hard to say. Uh, I, I would give the second round to BR, so technically for me, BR wins. But let's see what the judges say. I think it's a 5-0, if I remember well. BR, MB14. If you enjoyed the battle, show them some love. Come on. We go to the judges to figure out who's moving on to the next round. This side, MB14. This side for BR. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know what to do. I say the three, y'all say the two and the one. Crowd in three. Give it up for BR. It's a, uh, it's pretty obvious. I, I, I believe MB14 is still new to the solo category, but he did super well. Like he's already world class. Uh, so, <laughs> the best respect to that. And um, yeah, I actually enjoyed MB14's routines. I just feel that um, his build ups, especially like in the second part of his routines, are a bit well, empty in some areas. So he could work on filling the gaps there. But other than that, he is so amazing. BR on the other hand, his as usual, his routines are so powerful. But I noticed towards the end, he always struggles to keep the tempo, you know, keep everything clean, you know, like he gets nervous towards the end of every round for some reason, I don't know why. No, but like I said in the earlier videos, it is GBB, so it is pretty nerve-wracking. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and tiny analyze, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.